Hey guys, Mike's GI Dojo. I'm at Toy Lana. Uh, my daughter right here, she uh, twisted my arm. I didn't want to spend the gas money uh, and the food money and the entry money to, to come to this event. Uh, but she wanted to come here to, to um, you know, search for some vintage items that she was interested in, girl toys or whatnot. Uh, a couple GI Joes, she's into GI Joes. Uh, so she twisted my arm. And we've had a great time so far. Uh, there's gonna be a couple clips I'm gonna film after this, but we've had a great time. Um, I got to finally meet my buddy Paul Knapp from the Paul Knapp YouTube channel and uh, a couple other members of the AOA. So it's, it's been a blast so far. Um, and uh, there might be more anecdotes I'll add, but uh, I'm just gonna show you guys the sights. Okay, everybody, <laughs> I just finished my 19 hour day uh, at Toy Lana, aka, you know, formerly known as Joe Lana. Uh, you know, I drove from Lake City, Florida to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it's somewhere between four and five hours each way. And, uh, you know, we left at 4.30 a.m. Uh, you know, left, left, left Florida at 4.30 a.m., arrived at, at the hotel about 11, and, um, you know, I had a couple pit stops. And then we got, you know, we left Atlanta about 4 p.m. and got home about 11, uh, 11 p.m. So uh, this is my haul. Um, First and foremost, uh, as a kid, I had the uh, Hall of Fame SWAT Assault Mission Gear. And over the years, I had misplaced one of the boots. And so I needed a second boot. So a uh, seller was uh, gracious enough to sell me this boot, I think, for $2. Got a pair of flippers for uh, an Action Man scuba diver that I have. Uh, for one, he didn't come with any flippers, I believe. And for two... Um, he has trouble standing with those um, rubbery Hall of Fame style feet. Uh, my buddy Chuck, a member of the Axis of Awesome, he uh, printed up these amazing Axis of Awesome dog tags and said anybody who was a part of the Axis of Awesome could come grab one from him at the show. And the minute I got there with me and my daughter, um, you know, in the main foyer or uh, vestibule, uh, ran right into uh, Chuck and Paul, uh, Paul Knapp from the, the Paul Knapp live stream and Paul Knapp YouTube channel. And uh, they welcomed me like we were, you know, friends for 50 years, hugs and bro taps and handshakes and photos were taken. So that was great. Thanks for the dog tag, Chuck. And, uh, you know, Paul, thanks for all the hospitality, linking me up with Angelo back in August and having me on the live stream, you know. You're, you're an amazing guy. Uh, then uh, a couple other cool things. Uh, I went to the Cotswold booth, and uh, there was a gentleman there with sharing the booth with Greg, and he was selling a lot of these cool Strike Force Alpha figures. Uh, this is a, um, you know, kind of like a, a real American hero 2.0. Uh, this 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 couple guys that uh, have a toy company I guess called Scorched Earth. Um, let's see. There's the okay, yeah. What the white? They're part part of White Elephant Toys, uh, Lacroix Toys on Instagram, and uh, they have their own little line of three and three quarter inch figures that have like swappable heads and stuff. So they kind of they're almost kind of like what we really want Hasbro to make in, instead of classified. What the what the real American some of the real American hero guys would prefer is uh, what what Strike Force Alpha is doing. So. Uh, then I picked up a really cool uh, Canadian Mountie set. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. It could be 40th. Looks almost too clean to be vintage, but I think it's vintage. Um, you know, I'll, I'll put that on the screen once I do a little more analysis here in a minute, if, if it's vintage or 40th. Uh, I've got a restring kit for a, a guy with weak arms that I have. I got a um, Cotswold uh, Elite Brigade 
holster and revolver that's going to go on my uh, man of action right there even though that is a vintage original man of action all all original from head to toe um i'm gonna go ahead and throw a, an elite brigade uh holster on him uh a uh another vendor a guy a great guy i believe his name was matt uh, he watches the Paul Knapp live stream. He recognized me right away. We had a really good chat. And uh, he sold me this Tunnel Rat 12-inch uh, figure from around 2002, 2003, like the Spy Troops slash Rise of Cobra era. And, um, you know, I, I, I love that era of figures. I think it's really underrated. I like how they kind of moved on from 60s G.I. Joe, but took the coolness of one six scale and applied it to a real American hero lore uh so yeah this is tunnel rat and for the uninitiated uh this is the character that larry hama the creator of the gi joe comic kind of bases on himself so uh, and his his time in, in vietnam that he served uh then we have this cool elite brigade figure that i built from head to toe he's got a defender uniform and uh, everything else is elite brigade so we got the black fuzz head i originally was gonna get brown but it was sold out and I thought, hey, you know, I don't have a, a fuzz head with black hair, so it uh, works well. And I'm building this little team. Uh, let's see, it's a little messy in here. Sorry, guys. But, yeah, see, I got another Elite Brigade figure with a olive drab holster, olive drab boots, and a Defender jumpsuit. And so now I have another one just like it. It's going to be my little special sub team. I haven't thought of a name for him yet, but I'm going to get a, uh, a Blondie and do the same thing. I already have a have a third defender jumpsuit uh, that I'm going to use. So, um, yeah, that's that's what I put together at the elite the uh, Cotswold booth. Greg Greg hooked me up, uh, gave me a good deal. Uh, and then finally, this reconnaissance force mission gear set. Uh, I I bought this because uh, my buddy Gregorio, aka Filmaholic, he sent me a boatload of um, his spares. He was doing spring cleaning. He sent me some really cool stuff, including this classic collection figure, and I wanted to do him justice and put a really nice uh, minty uniform on him, so that's why I got this mission gear set from the classic collection era. So yeah, I had a, an amazing time at, at Toy Lana. Got to uh, chat briefly with Michael French from Retro Blasting, and uh, my buddy Paul Knapp, my buddy Chuck, uh, Ace Allgood, and uh, you know, thanks to all those guys for all the handshakes and uh, knuckle taps and all that stuff and uh, thank you to my daughter Atari for inspiring me to go um, you know go to this event uh, I was trying to be cheap I was trying to save money and maybe wait till August to go to Joe the new Joe Lana at the at the uh, Hilton Hotel uh, but you know she had money she wanted to spend wanted to go buy some vintage strawberry shortcake stuff so she twisted my arm and uh, forced me to go. That resulted in our arduous 19-hour uh, odyssey, uh, but it was all worth it. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I've been rambling too too long. Uh, but hey, if if you have a, a local um, GI Joe or toy toy show, go to it. You'll have a lot of fun. You'll meet people and uh, you know see familiar faces from the internet. It was a good time. Have a good one, guys.